Did you ever see a chimney rock? I'm riding high in the land of the Smokies, passing through the laurel and the pine. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, at the motorized mountain climb. Scratching up a pile of rubber to burn, I'm out to beat the faster car's time. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, I'll be skidding past the high of the What is there about this mountain in western North Carolina with all the flowers on it that makes folks want to do things all over it? Like this here cave explorer fella who spent days sliding up and down these cliffs on a rope. Sports car drivers painting big stripes of rubber on the asphalt road going to the top. Looks dizzy, don't it? Well, now, don't go feeling sorry for yourself watching these moving pictures. Think about these fellows holding on to the wheels inside the cars. They're twisting around like a honeybee. You can hear these old bugs buzzing and snorting for miles, all up and down Hickory Gorge. Most of these boys learn the tricks of snaking up to the top without spilling over the sides. But some don't. Most of them think to put enough gas in the tank to make it to the top of the mountain. But some don't. This famous mountain with the rock shaped like the chimney of some John Santa Claus did all right for years and years as a place for folks to climb, to have picnics, and to buy mountain handiwork in the village. Nobody ever heard of a sports car. People just took it easy around here in the Blue Ridge. It's an easy place to live in. And then it was along there early in the 50s you started seeing these little sports cars around. At first, the drivers just came up here to mess around on Lake Lure in the boats. Or they'd use them to drive up to fish and splice around in the rocky broad. I came straight from Nashville to a gate east of Asheville. My car had come from Naples, Italy. My car skipped the beat. We climbed a thousand feet. The tires are sliding closer to the tree. I'm in my car, the seatbelt tight. Robar skimming in the breeze. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, between the Smokies and the sea. Then it happened. Some fella found this three-mile road up to Chimney Rock. He drove it in one of these sports cars, and you know what he did? He fell in love with the road. Now, girls, I can understand, but loving a road, hmm. And this wasn't any straight, wide highway but a twisty, windy black strip, 18 feet wide, with more sassy turns in it than a little girl's pigtail. But that's what got this fellow all upset. He must have thought, wouldn't this be a good place for all us crazy sports car drivers to break our necks? Whatever he thought, he had one heck of a lot of company. 
Because it wasn't six months later, these drivers were coming up here in packs, like a crop of show dogs, fitted out with crash helmets. They'd scratch off from a standing start, one at a time, up these pigtail turns, fighting for the honor of getting to the top the quickest. Got so you'd see a whole string of these here. Alfalfas and Austin Healers and Porsches and MGs and Volvos buzzing up the road from all over the east and south through this one particular mouth. It's a disease, is what it is, and contagious? Man, there was a hundred of them up here a few weeks back. They jammed the park entrance down on Highway 74 till they was bumper to bumper. What's between those bumpers is no trash, friends. You know what these kids fork out for cars like these screaming monsters? Some of them run up to $10,000. And I don't mean Confederate. Now, you might ask, what do these drivers get for all this burned up rubber, banged up fenders, beat up shirts and pants? Money? Not hardly. No $100,000 purse floating around here. This is strictly amateur stuff sanctioned and supervised by the Sports Car Club of America. All the driver gets is a satisfaction of climbing this here mountain and maybe get a trophy out of it and a plaque to stick up on the dashboard to show that they've been up here. Some of them cart these sacred machines around in trailers, like racehorses. Wouldn't think of running them on regular streets. Just like anybody else who owns some fancy machinery, these drivers love to tinker. Sometimes the engines don't sound just right, and these boys are always tuning them up, trying to make them do a little better. Of course, this Chimney Rock Park mountain climb sets up some strange problems, like having to shift gears 40 or 50 times in about four minutes, and like having to stand on a brake and accelerate back and forth all the way up. Like I say, they love it. Maybe from here, this driving looks like flying. But let me tell you, there's nothing smooth about this deal. You could call this Sunday driving in the country, all right. But it's a mighty different kind from what you and I are used to. You get thrown to the left, to the right, up, down, forward, backwards, and around. Kind of like a lump of ice cream in a milkshake mixer. What gets me is all the people who drive regular cars up here to see the sports cars run around these half ends. They hold their ears and back away when the sports cars grind up close, but they eat it up, thousands of them. They eat their lunches, too, and make a whole weekend of it. Twice a year, once in the fall, and once in the spring. Me? I just soon fade. Well, now you got to hand it to these spectators. They don't come up here to see anybody get killed like they do at the racetracks. They're here because they love those sports cars. They get a kick out of watching all these different makes trying out the same challenge. You couldn't budge them with a crowbar once the climb has started. Half of them's got stopwatches, and the other half's got cameras. I'm riding high in the land of the Smokies, passing through the laurel and the pine. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, at the motorized mountain climb. Scratching up tar with rubber to burn, I'm out to beat the faster car's time. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, I'll be skidding past that high finish line. I came straight from Nashville to a gate east of Asheville. My car had come from Naples, Italy. 
My heart skips a beat. We climb the thousand feet. The ties are sliding closer to the tree. I'm in my car, the seatbelt tight, rowbar skimming in the breeze. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, between the Smokies and the sea. I'm riding high in the land of the Smokies, passing through the laurel and the pine. At Chimney Rock, North Carolina, at the motorized mountain climb. mountain climb in the spring is a big National Governor's Cup deal. All the drivers have a big time at dinner, before and after the climb. They talk about all different kinds of subjects to show how broad their interests are. Subjects like uh, piston displacement, centers of gravity, tire treads, modification and the merits of French sports cars over the British sports cars. Silver trophies go to the winners in each class. And somebody from the state capital gives out this big urn to the fastest man in all classes. And one of these days, a girl's going to beat all the men, and then the battle will be ready for the fire. Between you and me, there's no explaining all this. It's a new sport. They race up the mountain instead of down it. They pick a road as full of kings as an old cow road, when they could have had any nice straight road they wanted. They come here to Chimney Rock Park from thousands of miles away to climb a few thousand feet up this special mountain. Instead of being content with some strip near home in Texas, or Pennsylvania, or Florida, they spend all kinds of green money on parts, modification, travel, and just go wild if they take a trophy. They risk their necks and cars to tell the folks back home they were better drivers than somebody else. But you get to meet a lot of nice people, and you're out in the fresh air. I'm riding high in the land of the Smokies, passing through the laurel and the pine. Rock, North Carolina at the motorized mountain climb.